hello everyone welcome back to my channel dying to diy it's me camaro i am so excited for this video it is another thrift flip ten dollar and under challenge hosted by Shayna from robinson repurposing and savannah from savvy crafts with savannah this is an open playlist so feel free to join in on the fun message me or you can get a hold of them if you would like to join as well I have a couple of really fun shabby chic inspired or a shabby chic um, decor styled thrift flips to share with you guys. <laughs> so let's just jump right into it. For my first flip, I decided to give this clock a makeover. It was $3.99 from Goodwill, so I thought that was a really good price for this. This is a pretty good sized clock, you know, super cute already, but I definitely had like a shabby chic like you know style in mind so that is what i went for i just started by taking my white waverly chalk paint and i was focusing more on the insides of the clock rather than like the um frame of the clock so i wanted to do that like uh wicker rattan stuff on the inside first so i'm just doing a very wishy washy paint job i'm not focusing like covering every square inch of this clock um well, not covering every square inch of like the wicker part, but once I do get to the rim and the outer edges of the clock, I do want to cover that like completely. I want to give the rims and stuff a very solid coat of paint. This is just, you know, my personal preference. I liked how some of the natural color was showing through the wicker parts, but I wanted, you know, the um, edges and stuff to be coated completely. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get into those nooks and crannies and crevices, all that good stuff as best that I can, just to make sure that is, you know, covered 100%. All right, so really quick while I'm just letting that play out in the background, I want to give a shout out to Tiff for buying me a couple of craft supplies from buymeacoffee.com. I know it says buy me a coffee, but I'm not really a coffee drinker per se, and I would benefit way more from craft supplies just to keep being able to, you know, share these videos with you guys. So I definitely really, really appreciate it. Again, shout out to Tiff because she's my first supporter on there. If you guys feel like, you know, buying me a couple of craft supplies as well, that link is going to be listed down below in my description box. Okay, so once I was done, you know, covering everything, I just went and took a piece of sandpaper, started sanding everything down where, you know, no rhyme or reason, just sanding wherever I thought would, would look good. And then after that, I'm just taking the brown antique Waverly wax and just going here and there and everywhere basically <laughs> um, mostly just over the spots that i already sanded down and distressed that way it just kind of accentuates that like the darker areas and once i have that wax down i'm just going back over with the brush that i had the white waverly chalk paint on and i'm just kind of blending everything together just to lighten up those areas a little bit but so you can still kind of see them that they're distressed and worn and accentuated per se so i just kept doing this until i was happy with the look and here is how that clock turned out so so cute i really love the white like shabby chic feel for this i just this is my vision that I had in mind, so that is what I went for. I think it would have been really cute, maybe all solid black, more of like a modern look as well. But yeah, this is just the look that I went for with this piece. So the next little piece that I chose to do was this little mini um, cast iron skillet. So cute. It has like a gold spray paint on it already. So I just wanted to change that up a little bit. I started by taking some ground cinnamon, just pouring it in a little cup. I did mix it with the antique wax in the first, you know, first off, but it did not really work out too well for me. This is my first time using cinnamon or anything like that to kind of give this like a rusted look. So it was a learning process for me, but I do not recommend mixing it with the wax. <laughs> it's just kind of like really um, granulated and gritty and stuff, and that was not what I was going for. But I did try to work with it and, you know, see it through basically, but in the end it didn't really work. Here I'm just adding some more, like adding Mod Podge to try to fix it, I guess, and that didn't really work well either. So I would recommend painting it in the black color that I'm going to be using here in a second and then adding the cinnamon on top of it. It works out so much better. But here you can see I just, you know, 
did the wax situation with the Mod Podge and then I sprinkled the cinnamon on top to really give it that like rusted feel, the rusted look that I was going for. Um, and then that didn't really work. So I was like, all right, I'm going to just start adding some black here and there. I took like a little sponge, a little sea sponge and try to blotch it here and there. And I really like how that started to look. So I just kind of went with that pattern from here on out. I just kept adding cinnamon and mixing it with the black and whatnot. Um, for the back, I just started out with the black paint instead. Like I mentioned, you know, a couple seconds ago, I would definitely recommend this. Start out with the color, the black, you know, and then sprinkle the cinnamon on top of it. It definitely <laughs> works so much better. So for future projects, that's what I will be doing. And yeah so I just kept doing that until I was happy with the rusted look how I wanted it a little or a lot or you know if I felt like it was too much I just took some black and kind of blended it together and then I would just try to you know sprinkle some more of the cinnamon on there just like a little bit lighter um, and I did that until I was happy with the look and here is how it turned out super cool right I'm really happy with the way that this turned out like I said, it was my first time doing this type of look, so I definitely have a lot of things to perfect, but for the most part, I really love this one. So these are my next items that I will be flipping. They're just like little mini um, coppered, coppered, wow, copper colored pictures. <laughs> Maybe I do need a coffee instead of some craft supplies. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, I took this cashew color from Waverly and I just started giving this first picture an all over coat of paint. I actually did two coats. I wanted it to be pretty solid. Um, and I did paint the inside of the picture probably about an inch down just to make sure, you know, the look was cohesive and everything was the same color. And then once I had given that time to dry, after I did my two coats, I just took a light grit sandpaper, sanded it around the edges and, you know, the, um, the ridges and whatnot, just to give it a more distressed look. And that was how that one turned out. The next one, I did the same thing, but with a celery color from Waverly. I gave it the two coats of paint in celery. And then once I had time to dry, I just took my sandpaper, sanded it down and that was it for these ones but i am obsessed so simple quick easy so cute though i really love the cashew color and that celery color together such a great shabby chic feel all right my last little project is this larger pitcher vase type of thing really cute i really like the um overall design of this picture I like all the flowy like rippled looks that it has and I do like the flowers on the vase um, as well but I just want to cover them up I just want to give this an updated look so I just started by taking my white Waverly chalk paint giving that two coats of paint all over and then again I coated the inside of the vase as well or the pitcher just so that you know when you fill it up with flowers or whatever you want to put in there that you just can't see the original color and over the flower part I just kind of did two very light coats of paint because I am going to be sanding that part down here in a second. So once I was done, you know, coating it with the two coats of paint, I just took my brown antique Waverly wax and I'm going around the rim and the handle, the base of the picture as well, just kind of getting it into those grooves and whatnot. Here and there, I'm being more, you know, like heavy handed, but that is okay. It's not a problem because I'm just going to use that paintbrush that has the white paint already on it and I'm just going to go over those parts that I you know added the brown wax to just to blend everything in I just really like this worn you know distressed type of look it's just personal preference for me but I wanted it to have more of a um, like a heavier distressed look around the base and the rims and stuff so here I am taking my sandpaper and I'm just going over the part that has the flower part on it and I want that just to pop through a little bit I want to be able to see it but I still want it to be kind of whitewashed and whatnot so I sanded it down and then I just gave it a really light white coat over it and here is how that little picture turned out so so adorable i love it i really love the shabby chic feel on this one i love how i kept some of the original detail that was already on this picture that's like slightly coming through but not 100 percent all right well that is all i have for you guys here is the final walkthrough to see how they all 
kind of work well with each other and just how they come together. I love, love, love them. I do have to say though that the pictures and the um, little miniature skillet definitely are my favorites. Look how cute they are together. They just go so, so well together. And then with the flowers and the lamb's ear, yes obsessed hopefully you guys love them as well so so cute also really fast i forgot to mention the prices of the rest of my objects brain's not here today i guess anyways the clock was four dollars the larger picture was two dollars the smaller pictures came in a bag with like five other ones of those other little mini pictures for two dollars so you know like 25 cents a can or something like that and then the little miniature skillet was a dollar so not too shabby no pun intended <laughs> all right guys before i go i just want to mention that i've been busy setting up my etsy shop for you guys you guys can purchase items that i've made in videos that i've posted on youtube and just some other things that i've made along the way and whatnot so feel free to check that out. That link will be listed down below in my description box. So I would definitely love for you guys to check it out. I still have a lot more things to add to it. And of course I will be, you know, adding the things as I go and as I make them. So definitely check that out. As always, thank you guys for all the love and support and thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.